Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to do a little experimentation uh, with some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, I usually typically just fry these up um, with this actual Indian spice mixture, which I will tell you about in a second. But uh, anyway, I wanted to see how these came out if I uh, sous vide cooked them. I've heard good things about it. Um, basically, I'm going to be cooking them at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. Then I'm going to remove them, uh, chill them, and then fry them real quick. So um, should be able to run to the fat. You know, because we chill it, it won't you know make the interior all dry so anyway I was doing some research and I thought that this would be cool to at least give a shot to one of my favorite recipes so let's get started um, I'm actually doing these two different ways just to see how they taste um, I had over two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs because they didn't come in smaller sizes and uh, you know I figure I'll do two different ways so anyway the first way I'm gonna do is just a regular old kind of like I don't know Indian curry spice uh, what I did was um, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander, paprika, turmeric, uh, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and then uh, a tiny little dash of cardamom. And uh, it's a really nice spice. Like I said, if you want to just try this, um, you know, this is good for like one pound of chicken thighs. Uh, if you get a full thing, just double it. Uh, and fry it up in ghee, freaking amazing over rice. But anyway, I'm gonna try this out, see how it goes. Uh, my other, my other thing, I have some leftover herbs from one of my previous, uh, well, my rabbit video, and uh, I got some chives, rosemary, thyme, uh, and I'm also going to use some of this pesto here because it contains basil, garlic, and olive oil, which are all, you know, nice. Uh, Italian style spices so I'm gonna s smother the other four thighs in that and cook them at the same temperature uh, one thing I'm gonna do here that may be a little different um, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the bag just so I can get all the spices and everything and all these nooks and crannies obviously you can see there's a lot of uh, rough real estate here so uh, just to make sure that everything gets all mixed together that's what I'm gonna do so without further ado okay so yeah the pro tip uh, when you're using chicken or fish or anything like that, roll the outside of the bag to the outside so you don't get it full of gunk. What you want to do, add the chicken first, add the spices and oil afterwards, mix it up real good, vacuum seal it up, and then drop it in. So, circulator is heated up to 160 degrees. Uh, another nice little tip that I'd like to share with you is that um, in order to get your thing heated up quicker, your bath heated up quicker, I found that saran wrap works as a much nicer insulator than aluminum foil. Um, aluminum foil apparently dissipates heat because of, I don't know, frickin' elemental reasons or something. But anyway, um, for these higher temperatures, uh, it's just a good idea to, to seal them up, to keep the heat in, keep the evaporation to a minimum. Uh, anyway, here's my uh, herby pesto chicken thighs. And then I got uh, two bags of this Indian spice mix. And uh, I'll be back in two hours to let you know how they are. Okay, our uh, two hours is up. Got my ice bath prepared. I'm going to chill these out for a little bit. Assuming they'll fit in here. Yeah, they do. So anyway, I'm going to cool these down just to... Uh, make the meat itself nice and cold so when I sear it I'm not going to cook it too much more. So I'm going to let this sit here for probably 15-20 minutes, something like that uh, to where the, the meat has cooled down enough to where we can get a nice crispy crust on the outside. Okay, the uh, chicken's been sitting in the ice bath for about 20 minutes now. We're going to take it out and uh, get it nice and dry. That's the next part. So that's a good sign that there is gelatin in the bag. It means that the uh, connective tissue in these chicken thighs has uh, cooked properly. Okay, my pan is nice and hot. Drop these in. I actually use ghee, which is clarified butter, to do the frying here. It really well, uh, goes really well with Indian food, as you know. So I'm just going to flash fry these real quick. Um, I'll do the other ones here in a second, but I wanted to do these first. 
probably about, I don't know, 45 seconds a side should do the trick to get it nice and warm. And, uh, good to go. Okay, this is what they look like after about, I don't know, maybe 45 seconds on each side. Nice and brown. The Indian spices smell delicious. And uh, hopefully the middle is nice and warm. And there we have it. I'm going to let these rest for just a moment. And herbal chickens. Here. Could eat them like that if we wanted, but it's always nice to have a little browning on them. About, uh, I don't know, 45 seconds or so on each side. These are all done. You can see. Nicely browned. Okay, so uh, I had a bite of this and uh, I'm completely blown away by how much different it tastes than just a regular old fried one. Um, I don't know if you can really see it here, but um, it's very, very juicy. Can't really see it. Uh, it's very, I don't know how to describe it, but like the, um, all the fat and it's just not very tough at all. It's like kind of like a fillet of chicken or something. Oh, it's really weird. But it's freaking delicious. The stuff is completely cooked all the way through. All the uh, connective tissue has been uh, dissolved and the result is really good. I'm, I'm actually kind of blown away. Since I pretty much have these fried all the time, I'm used to that texture, but this is really good. Even though it's a lot different. So you can see the dark meat here. You can kind of catch the shimmer of it, but Anyway, it's really good, and I would highly recommend trying this sometime. Let's uh, try these uh, herbal ones and see how they are. But the Indian ones, Indian spices, definitely on point. Very, very, very good. So uh, let's crack one of these open here. I'd expect a similar sort of thing. Very uh, similar texture. If it ever focuses. Probably won't. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good too. That'd be really good on a pasta with some sort of like cream sauce or something. Mmm. Yummy. In the normal like fatty bits you get in there, really not an issue at all. It tastes like it's been melted. It's really delicious. Mmm. So all in all, I'd definitely do this again. Uh, very easy to make, just throw some spices in a bag and cook it for two hours at 160 degrees. And uh, yeah, chill it and then fry it real quick. And man, it's uh, definitely a winner. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that going forward. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in any of the uh, gear you saw today in my video, uh, just click the uh, show more uh, button on the description. And there's some um, links there from Amazon where you can, uh, you can purchase the stuff directly. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.